We have just returned from the fabulous PAX Oz. We had an incredible three days at the Melbourne Convention Centre, playing a whole bunch of indie games, homegrown from Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. But what we're here to talk about today is the fun we had at Nintendo's booth. Mm -hmm. Nintendo had a bunch of unreleased games the we got our grubby little mittens on. Mm -hmm. Headlined, as you might have guessed by the thumbnail and the title of this video, the illustrious Mario Wonder. Yep, and we are here to tell you all of the juicy gossip and give you a little insight on what you can expect when the game comes out because I know that we're all really interested to see what they have in store for us. Don't forget to subscribe because we played some other really awesome games as well that you might want to hear about in future videos. Yeah, if you're interested in our Sonic Superstars or Prince of Persia, we will have videos coming out honestly in a couple of days on some of those. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss out. So we got to play for about 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Maybe it was more like 10. We got to play about three to four levels. We got to play it together. Yeah, the co-op is actually really good. Mm -hmm. The first level we got to play was basically an introduction to everyone's new favorite power-up, the elephant power-up. I think you favorite. played as Daisy, didn't you? Uh, Peach. And Peach's elephant. Peach, Peach's elephant was good, yeah. Just as beautiful <laughs> as Mario's elephant. <laughs> it was just the first level of the game. So, I mean, it was nothing too special. It was just, here's this cool new power-up, which is cool. Yeah. It's kind of like a boss mode though. It is that? boss mode because you can just like smash through anything. Basically you use your trunk as an attack and you can um, you can like ricochet enemies attacks back at them and then you can just destroy them. It makes it quite simple. Absolutely. It reminds me of the cat power up in 3D World yeah, where you now okay. have an attack and you basically just like slaughter every enemy. Yeah, you just bash through like the entire level, but it's really satisfying as well. There's also a little attack where you, you use your trunk and some water spurts out of it. So that's pretty cute. I can only imagine how creative and how tough levels are gonna have to be for this elephant power up to not just feel yeah. like you're kind of cheating. Totally OP because yeah. it did feel like that to us, but I'm sure that we played like the very beginner levels. So. Yeah, definitely. That makes sense. It's only gonna get more interesting as it goes along. Mm -hmm. And it did because the second level introduced us to the Drill Hat power-up, mm -hmm. which we've also seen in the Wonder Direct. This was where I felt this really came into its own. I yeah. was like, okay, here we go. This is the level of creativity that we can expect from this game. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful level as well. It was all like purpley's blues. It was like a cave sort of level, but it was more like a crystal cave almost. It, so it was. was bit, yeah. yeah. So it had heaps of color. It wasn't just like mm -hmm. dark and gloomy. It was still bright and in your face. And also at the very end of the level, you just pop out of a pipe and you're at a beach. Yeah. For no apparent reason. And there's just so much effort put into the background mm. of that beach. Yeah. The levels really do look incredible. They do. The backgrounds are mm. So the drill power is kind of as you would expect. You can get a little drill hat and then you can drill through rocks, enemies, all sorts of things. You can drill through the floor. You can. You can drill into the floor mm -hmm. and then like travel along. Yeah. Like a little mole underground. Almost like Super Lucky's Tail. And pretty much exactly like Super Lucky's Tail if anyone has played that great 3D platform by the way. Highly recommend. But yeah, so you can just like go underground avoid enemies. Mm -hmm. You can jump up at enemies with your little drill hat. Obviously that's gonna, that's gonna hurt them. You can like dive at enemies with your yeah. little drill hat. But the main thing was the crystals we spoke of, you can destroy them yeah. with your drill. Yeah, because or else you're not gonna be able to make your way through the cave level no. without the drill power up because you have to go under the ground to reach certain areas and you have to destroy the crystals to get to certain areas as well. And this kind of leads us into our next point and I know this is the thing on everyone's mind, the wonder flowers. Mm. So our personal favorite thing, probably about this whole demo, mm -hmm. was the wonder flower activation in this level. Yeah. And it created this like giant enemy block that was like falling down mm -hmm. from the top of the screen. It was almost like a thwomp, but it was it was different. Was, yes, exactly. Mm. So new enemy designs as well, that's yes. the thing. 
and we had to drill through the crystal rocks mm -hmm. in order to escape this thwomp mm -hmm. or like get into empty space where the the thwomp thing wasn't gonna get us. Yeah, so it was kind of like reverse Tetris. So the thwomp was up here and he's like, brum, brum, brum. And you've got to like run to a little gap or you've got to create one for yourself and you've got to get to the bottom and then you've got to get the other one to seed or one to flower to escape the level. Yeah, exactly. And it really was, we almost died. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really fun. Yeah. I don't understand how they're going to do it if you don't get the wonder flower because as far yeah. as we can tell, the wonder flowers are completely optional in the other levels at least. There was one that we missed, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we didn't even get all of them. <laughs> so basically the wonder flowers create, I would say a 2.0 yeah. version of every level. It's, like a, it's almost like a bonus level, but like it's more fleshed out and exciting than just like your regular bonus level. Absolutely, and super flashy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen some of the Mario Wonder trailers. It really is just like, Mario is just tripping out, man. There yeah. are some whack things that go on in some of those levels. But again, the creativity is insane. Mm -hmm. Let's just say quickly that Mario Wonder has 100 levels in it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have 200 levels in it. Because Be of the wonder, yeah. Because of the wonder flowers. Mm -hmm. Just so much mm. creativity. And we only got to play three or four, but the feeling that I got from the demo that we were able to play is that they're all going to be different as well. They were all completely different. Mm -hmm. Just nothing like each other. Backgrounds, enemies, the how you get to the end of the level. They're mm -hmm. all just completely different. Yep. Yeah. We also got to play this random ass little mini game in the middle of the levels that we tried, mm -hmm. which isn't anything to report home about on its own. It was kind of like, oh yeah, that's cool. But does that insinuate that there's going to be mini games throughout? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. just the fact that the mini game was there, the mini game itself, very simple, you know, but the fact that it was there definitely leads me to believe that there's going to be more. Man, the level of creativity with the Wonder Flowers is one thing, but if they can do that similar thing with these little mini games. Every little mini game. And if every area of your map has one or two of these mini games, it's just going to be fun. Mm. It's just going to be really fun and exciting. I'm actually looking forward to what they do with those. Yeah. What would be really fun is like, if you weren't a huge fan of the 2D platformer sort of thing in general, but you did like the mini games, I would love it if they had like a mini game mode so you could just play through all of the games without having to do the 2D platformer sort of thing. I mean, I guess you wouldn't have the game if you weren't into the 2D Super platformer. Super Mario 64 on the DS. Mm. Let's do that again. Mm -hmm. So the thing about playing games at PAX is that you don't really know if it's a demo that has been created for PAX or if it's a section of the actual game. But what we played, the overworld, it was it was like a classic 2D platformer overworld where you have your levels and then it's in a bigger place and it has a track that leads you to each one. You have to do them all one after the other, but this wasn't like that. It still looked the same, but it didn't have the track. So you could run around and do whatever level you wanted. Absolutely. I feel like this game isn't going to be linear and it's going to be, be whatever level you want, whenever you want in that section of the overworld mm. until you unlock the next section. Yeah. So everyone's going to have their own experience with yes. this. Yes. More freedom is a good thing, especially <laughs> with, you know, Mario games aren't exactly known for their story. So it's not like we have to worry about curating that. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully that was a part of the actual game and not just the demo. The thing is, all of this demo could be completely unlike the rest of Super Mario Wonder. It's easy to conceive that they've just chosen the best part mm -hmm. and put them in the demo. Of course, that's what you want to do. A lot of demos were like that. Absolutely. But we hey, look at oh, look at Kitty. <laughs> Anyways, we just have a feeling that Mario Wonder is going to be maybe the best 2D Mario of all time. It reminds me far more of a Super Mario Galaxy or a Super Mario Odyssey, like the mm -hmm. 3D platformers, yeah. than just your basic get to the end of a level, um, a 2D Mario, of course. So hopefully this is the best of both worlds. I think we're pretty sure it will be. Yeah, so it's still like your classic 2D Mario experience, but there's so much more creativity and vibrancy to all of the levels. So much more to see and do. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, two, it's a 2D platformer, right? What, 
what what do you do with that? You run and you jump. So the mechanics That's traditionally are, what it's sort of, of been. Of course, of course. And the mechanics are still there. If you just love the OG Super Mario's or even the new Super Mario Bros series, mm -hmm. you're gonna find enjoyment here. But maybe if they weren't for you, you still might find some enjoyment here because mm -hmm. there's just so much stuff going on. Yeah, maybe if you're feeling a little bit bored or you felt like all of the Mario 2Ds had kind of been the same game rehashed over and over again, this one is definitely a fresh and new experience. 100%. So if you love Super Mario, maybe you could give this video a like. If you don't like Super Mario, give it a dislike. I was gonna say drop a comment, but you know, oh, yeah. one or the other, it doesn't matter. Again, we're gonna do more of these videos. Hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next one to talk about Sonic Superstars. Oh, yeah. Get key. It was a good one. Bye.